This is a mud crab that I've just taxidermied. You can use the same process to taxidermy any crabs or any crustaceans for that matter. And they, they turned out pretty good, so I'll show you the process. I'm Brent. For me, hunting and fishing is not just about the harvest of an animal. It's about the challenge. It's about the adventure. It's about mateship. It's about getting outdoors where I feel most alive. This is Breno's Outdoors. This is a mud crab that I got. I got this back in January. I actually got this on Australia Day. And I'm gonna mount him on a board. I'll just start off with what you're gonna need. Obviously, you need a mud crab, some toothpicks and some kebab sticks, a styrofoam board, and some formalin. This is pretty nasty stuff, this stuff. So make sure when you're handling this, you've got gloves on and eyewear. And you don't want to use it straight, you want to have about 50-50 water. So this is just water, and then I'll fill up about the same with um, the formalin. Okay, so this, the crab, what you want to do is you want to clear out all the meat from as much as you can out of it in there. So you leave all the meat and the legs and the claws, and then all the legs, that's where we're going to inject all the formalin. And then what you want to do is, in each joint there'll be a soft, a soft area like that and then we're going to stick that in there and then fill all that for this stuff so I've got a long needle for the claws I've got a little needle to do all the legs and I probably shouldn't be doing this in the sun because the sun will start to cook it and it'll turn orange so I'll just take it in the shade now. Alright, so here he is. Every little bit of him has been injected. So now I've just got to sort of arrange him how I want him because um, I've got about a couple of hours and then he'll go hard and where he's, whatever position I put him in, he'll stay like that. You see I've set up his eyes and his feelers as well so that they end up in the right spot once he's dry. Alright, so I'll just go put him in a nice dry spot now. And it'll take about two weeks for him to dry out. And then I'll go through the next step of how I'm going to mount him on a board. Here's the board I'm going to mount the crab to. Um, I've got some shell grid as well. The plan is I'm going to PVA glue and I'm going to glue all this shell grid on the board and then I'm going to wrap this bit of rope that I found around the outside. So hopefully that looks good. Uh, I guess we'll find out shortly. So it's been about a month now, and here he is. He's all dried out, ready to be mounted. So I'm just about to start um, dismantling all this setup now, and then uh, next I'll mount him to the board. So here he is, he's all mounted now. What I did was I got a couple of um, 
stainless steel rods and I drilled them into the claws and into the board and I glued them all in place and then also on each leg I arrow died at each tip of his leg into the board like in, in amongst the shell grit and then I put a big blob of silicon behind the swim behind here to glue them all down it's just a couple more things to do now and um, we'll be going on the wall we're pretty good so far I reckon what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give him a coat with this stuff and it's a clear gloss it'll sort of make him look like he's wet He's had a few coats of lacquer now, he's looking pretty good. Today's a pretty exciting day because the last thing I'm going to do is glue this bit of rope around the outside and then he's ready to go on the wall. So looking forward to that. The plan is I'm just going to get this hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue that bit of rope all around the outside in that groove that I routed in earlier. So I'll get that done and he's going on the wall. Woo! All right, that's it, he's done. Time to put him on the wall. Is that cool or what? Oh God, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go put him on the wall. Here we go, go on the wall. God, this is no breaking. I think we're good. I think we're good. How good is it? God, I love it. This is so good. Oh. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's so good. Can't wait till my wife gets home. I'm sure she's gonna love it just as much as I do. Oh, <laughs> 